High School Football in St. Johns County, and we are entering Week 5 with a full slate of games tonight. Before we talk about Week 5, we're going to recap a splendid Week 4 action. St. Augustine beat Flagler Palm Coast 34-14 in control after the first quarter of that game. The Yellow Jackets wrapped up another perfect September. They have not lost a September game since 1999. Bartram Trail will come back in the fourth quarter to beat Ponte Vedra 30 to 27, a big vic district victory for the Bears. They're now three and one. St. Joseph goes on the road to Quincy Monroe, 55-14 win behind Scott Jones, three touchdowns. Menendez, 35-21 win over Ridgeview. Tony Stewart, two picks returned for touchdowns in the fourth quarter of that game, 19 seconds apart, helped Menendez end a three-game slide. Last but not least, Nice 47, Creekside 35, a shootout in that game, and the Panthers prevail with a, uh, with a wild second half to beat Creekside, and uh, Nice ends a slide of its own and wins its first district game. As we move into week five games, a pretty good slate tonight of games. Four of the games are in town, so if you want to go out and see some good high school football, tonight is the night to do it. Bishop Kinney visiting Bartram Trail, both teams 3-1 and one there, should be a good one at Bartram. St. Augustine hosting Ponte Vedra, Ponte Vedra 2-2, two two. St. Augustine 4-0, trying to move to 5-0 for the 10th consecutive season. Middleburg is visiting Menendez, and uh, if you, you think uh, there's not some history in this game, Middleburg is 5-2 all-time against Menendez, and last season uh, went 1-9, a dubious 1-9 season for the Broncos, but that one win was against Menendez, so you don't really need to hype this game if you're in Menendez and, uh, and stress it anymore. They want revenge for that, uh, that loss last season, so it's a big one at Menendez tonight. Nice and Trinity Christian. Trinity is a Jacksonville team and a 4-0, credible running base team. They put up almost 70 last week against Eagles View. Nice has struggled a little bit on defense, so it'll be interesting to see how the Panthers' defense responds to maybe their biggest offensive challenge of the season. Creekside going on the road to Palm Coast Matanzas. Creekside is 1-3. Uh, Matanzas struggling a bit this season. They're 0-4, but last week they took Bishop Kenny down into the fourth quarter before losing in that game. St. Joseph, last but not least, going on the road and playing at Pearson Taylor. St. Joseph, a uh, heavy favor in that game. The Flash is 3-1, and, one and, uh, and Pearson has only one win this season. And we can't talk about last week without talking about our player of the week. Denzel Hayden, a nice sophomore running back slash defensive player. He did a little bit of everything last week in that 47-35 win over Creekside. Four touchdowns from Denzel, three of those rushing touchdowns. One of those, a fumble return for a touchdown, not from nine yards out, and picked off two passes. So he joins a pretty solid list of uh, players of the week that we've had so far. Dwayne Brady from St. Augustine the first two weeks. Andrew Barker, a kicker from Nice. And now Denzel Hayden is a week four player of the week after four touchdowns and two defensive interceptions. Next week, we will talk about the midseason All-Stars, maybe throw a few players to watch uh, in the front runner race for the player of the year standings and uh, just some standout performers and kind of reevaluate the front part of the season, the second half predictions, and uh, maybe the teams that have the best track for playoff spots. A lot of teams in the county chasing those positions for uh, the district winner, district runner-up spots and 3A, or excuse me, 3, 3A. Sorry. Next week, we'll talk to you about our midseason grades, hand out the best of the season, the worst of the season, and uh, throw out some cue names as uh, we start thinking about player of the year and the top player in the county this season. So we will talk to you next week, week six, and uh, recap week five games and break down what we've seen so far in the season.